because I've got no time to talk, but I'm coming to your town. That's why I'm flying out right now. Get your tickets. Well, in our latest instalment of the Confess Your Sin series, where we ask you in a very specific field, what are the naughty things that you've done there, which obviously when it comes to high schoolers, you know it's gonna be good. Check out that video, it was the most recent one, where we asked you about Muck Up Day. You already know this is gonna be good if you're from Australia. If you're from America, Muck Up Day is probably our equivalent of Halloween, except you get to do it every year. We got to do it once in our entire life, and then they banned it just because a few thousand kids committed serious crimes. (laughs) Well, as a YouTuber would say, it's just a prank, bro. (laughs) We decided to ask you, what was the prank? that got Muck Up Day banned at your school. And either these are all urban legends or you all have extremely similar minds. The 1700s fear of schools not only uniforming children, but their brains seems to be correct. I mean, everybody seems to have the same prank. It's always pesticiding a penis onto the lawn. (laughs) Putting grease on the handrail. You got that one from Fireman Sam, fuck off. As a result, about 99.5% of you have been firewalled. Here's what remained. As always, haven't seen these before. Uh, It looks like we're starting off with a very succinct one. Poured cement down the toilet. (laughs) Everyone should just replace all the words that they put with, we cost the public schooling system millions of dollars. Someone shit in the teacher's lounge microwave and turned it on for three hours the night before muck up day holy hell much like the shit that was just a warm-up isn't it incredible that from greater apes to humans it seems like if somebody wants to disrespect someone it's always (laughs) you saw this in sentinel island apparently that's their version of just saying fuck off we're full it's just to spread their cheeks (laughs) my school was in the bush (laughs) that's a prank on you bro some genius thought it'd be awesome to light a fire in said bush. I don't think he knew that was muck up day. That just sounds like the kid at the school that was always like, I, I just, just like, like the sound of the, the fire alarm. alarm. Which led to us having to evacuate and the fire trucks having to show up. See, there we go. He, 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 dude, I'm telling you, that was the, it was just a prank cover. He just wanted to see them and be like, yeah, dude, just leave when you were 15. From then on, the school allowed the year 12 support on a concert. Wow, that's so much better than Buck Up Day. Shit musicians forcing you to listen to me. God, what a celebration to the end of school life. Which also got banned, thank Christ, when they played a video of a fat dude in the year doing a bikini car wash rubbing his pants on the wings. Come on, dude. He needed to make the night entertaining. Like, everyone was suffering in there. That guy's a hero. He should be canonized. It's a small country town. As if that's not better than the bloody tennis player that won silver in the 96 Olympics or whatever the fuck you have in the town square. It was banned at my school for the classic mattress in the pool trick. Why is that a... Why is that a prank? It fills up with water and becomes heavy. Yeah, but... Oh, like, too heavy to move. Yeah. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not one, but three on top of each other. Well, as I just learned, that would be very difficult, wouldn't it? The first grade they hired to pull them out snapped like a twig and they had to get a second one. You see, this is, I, I do get it. I do get that there is this very fine line between innocent prank yard fun and just like, destroying an entire community's resources. It's like the National Party. They're the parliamentary equivalent of Muck Up Day. Barnaby Joyce should be saying this a lot in his speeches. Uh, the member for New England has promised 100 dams. He has so far delivered zero. Bro, it was just a prank. prank. And all the environmentalists that are worried about that dams, as we've just learned today, just chuck three mattresses in them. Completely unrelated to Muck Up Day. Well, what's the point of you, mate? But someone got a tool shoved up their ass in wood tech class. Well, thank you for informing me of this, and I'm sorry that I questioned you. What, what tool? Um, because I've seen that rack. They range from yeah, just a little tiny Phillips head to <laughs> banned at my school for several reasons. God, that jeez. You gotta give principals this. They're pretty lenient. A couple of students all took a shit on the gr- rolled a basketball in the shit. Started throwing the shit smear basketball at the students. I like that the principal was at that point. Guys, can we just cool it a little bit? Like he was willing to play along after that. Uh, year 12, please stop throwing that. 
Okay, all right. I think that this is in order at this point. First warning. I mean, shit on me once, shame on me. If that wasn't enough, and let's be honest, it would be in most schools. Like, imagine if you did that in a private school. Like, one of the security guards probably would have shot you. A group of boys also hung their mate on the cross outside the chapel. It was a private school, fuck me. He was wearing nothing but a pair of Crocs. Dude. I think at some point you have to, st I don't know if crucifixion's a prank. I guess Jesus was wearing Crocs, so it's in theme. I can give you points for that. Not my school, but I know a school nearby me had muck up day severely scaled back when the seniors let the school's prize show ball out of its own to run loose. Damn, okay, so that was obviously an ag school and wouldn't it be amazing if your school was like one of those, you know how they just have like sports schools, tech schools, yours was the school of matadors? Only for it to run onto the nearby highway to get hit by a semi-trailer. Ah yes, the matador of the tech world. That's fucked. <laughs> A group of boys released a bunch of chickens into the school. Ah, oh, yeah, okay, yeah, we, we, we all, this is another classic. You paint a number on chickens. So, I don't know, one, two, three, and then five. And then the teachers for the whole day are going, Oh no, where's chicken number four? This has happened three years in a row, so I'm still looking for those other number four chickens. The teachers are having a hard time herding up with chickens. Okay, that is a great image, isn't it? That you've turned these highly educated people into sheepdogs. Eventually the groundskeeper got a shovel, hit one over the head and killed it. Okay, I uh, don't know why there's such an insistence on us watching PG movies, even when we're over the age of 16, when you're allowed to go in and kill something, but oh, fair enough. <sighs> Laws, am I right? A group of girls saw it and they started crying. Good times. Well, it looks like I was wrong about the where's the number four chicken prank. It looks like the groundskeeper well and truly found number four and winner winner chicken dinner. <laughs> <laughs> he got a feed out of it. A couple of years ago, some guy brought his dirt bike to school and drove through the main halls with it. What a legend? It was a tiny private high school and everyone knew everyone. He filmed the whole thing and got a couple of million views on YouTube. Far out! This guy's multitasking he's just a dead... God, I'd love to see where he is now. He's probably this generation's Evil Knievel. And much like Evil Knievel, I'm assuming he's dead. It's the only interesting thing that happened in that school year. I do like that a lot of these, the premise is, yeah, yeah, I just went to a boring private school where nothing happened in the entire six years and it was just this monotonous limbo of a life. And then one day, for some reason, one of the kids decided to steal a rocket from NASA, crash it into the groundskeeper site and say, hey, groundskeeper, will he clean that up? It's just weird. It's just like boredom, 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 <laughs> fucking just clown show. Oh, and this just in, hot off the presses, we have the actual footage of the event, which I shouldn't be surprised by. He said it was on YouTube. I think it is. Anyway, look, let's watch. <laughs> oh my god, it's a high-budget production, multiple camera angles. <laughs> you can do it, Nod. <laughs> He's so fat. <laughs> it's such strain on the wheel suspension. All right, yeah, there it was. Because before that, I was thinking that you just went to, you know that scene in The Simpsons where Bart enters Mad Magazine office and the chick's like, Listen, kid, you probably think lots of crazy stuff goes on in there, but this is just a place of business. That guy just went through and everyone looks so bored. And then your response of, Yeah, nothing much happened. Just most of the teachers there had ant heads and Uncle Sam rose from the dead to become principal. It was a pretty normal school. Our muck up day was banned after a couple of guys tried to build a zip line out the window in between two buildings on the second floor. Whoa! Whoa! Jesus Christ, that's not really a prank. That's just an episode of Mythbusters. I saw them testing it for a while with increasingly heavy objects. Jesus Christ, dude, you went to a school for the gifted, far out. And it genuinely seemed to work pretty well, but the first person to have a go managed to break it as soon as they took off. Okay, so it was a school of the near gifted and <laughs> fell a good five or six meters onto the concrete. Holy shit, that kid sounds like one of those little baby birds that you see on the side of the sidewalk. 
Not sure if he was okay. Like that you just left that suspense in the air for everyone. Well done, sir. Very weird. <laughs> <sighs> Kids. I went to the same high school you did. Oh, did you? Ooh. Do you remember the studio theatre sign? If that was there in your day, a massive sign that was on the building visible. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, it's not there anymore. To the public from the pavement. On the first day of markup week. Week? I wasn't even there for day. Where am I, chap liver? Jesus, where did you go to my school? 1910. Do you remember when Ned Kelly stole one of the horse carriages? No! One of my mates broke in and removed some letters so it's spelled tit eat. Yeah, that thing is so good, but now, isn't it amazing that when you do hear one of these things, you immediately just go into chimp mode, be like, <laughs> yeah, okay, this is in the middle of a heat wave. With the age of climate change, you're just gonna have to get used to this. I don't put your climate change messages into this, buddy. <laughs> you know, it's amazing. There will be five or six yeah. comments of people saying like, Oh my God, the propaganda. Can you imagine? I'm your shirt. <laughs> That's the other one. Those are the two things that people are concerned with. My rampant climate alarmism and my unironed shirt. Hey, bro, right, we're talking about pranks here. That's just, just, I, I don't have an iron. Uh, start of the week off strong and no teacher ever figured out who it was. Legend. I, I am very annoyed that you got a week though. Fuck me dead. And I bet you went there on Saturday and Sunday being like, what, what, it's still the week? Oh, my armpits, yeah, sorry. Mark up week incident. This isn't an incident. This is an incident report. Look at this. Part of our school's mark up week. Oh! was a milk run on the oval. For those who don't know, and I don't, you scull milk and you run in circles until you... <laughs> and that was just the start. You still had to think of six days more. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> As the teachers notice, a hundred plus boys. Yeah, the boys. Slowly making their way to the main oval with two litres bottles of milk and food died from woolies. Hey! You can't say you didn't learn anything in chemistry. They promptly combed it off and sent everyone home not to negatively impact the school's public image for people walking by. Oh, okay, that's a bit much, come on. Who's the real victim here and, oh yeah, that's right, the groundskeeper. Instead of going home, we all walked 10 minutes down to the beach and did it at the local business. <laughs> this is muck up day in a nutshell, isn't it? Just Make a public servant's life hell, the day. There were 100 plus boys vomiting blue and green. Well, you should have at least made it patriotic. Green and gold. All along the pier while people were fishing, walking and sunbathing nearby. Some kids even took it upon themselves to shove a few fingers down. <laughs> yeah, starting a bulimia habit, sick. That is commitment. And projectile from one of those who was struggling. Not sure which ended up worse for the school's <laughs> image. Round of applause. Look, I think that you win muck up week. Ah, I've got mixed feelings about it because of those reasons, but I have to say, you, you guys, like, it's one of those things of, our oh, kids these days have got no imagination. We did not think of that. Hats off to you people from the roaring 20s or whenever this was. I gotta say, a lot more creative than I was originally led to believe. This was phenomenal work on everyone's- You truly did earn the ban in every one of those instances, and I salute you. Now, onto more pressing matters. We hear that mechanics have a few stories. So if you are from the mechanic faction, probably should de-nerd that me mechanic, um, you Need to give us your stories. That'll be pinned to the top of the comments here. The stories of ripoffs, bad customers, car falling on one of your mate's heads. Look, we'll take them all. We'll take them all. Keep it short and sweet though, unless they're sick like this last one. Look, just just give us stuff, all right? Uh, <laughs> thank you so much for your time. Come see my live show. Really appreciate the stories this time. It really gave me life. I feel like running out there just being like, yeah, where's some milk? <laughs> take that Sydney City Council. Fuck you.